studied the fountainhead and from there she has compared the qualities of the creator and the repeater which she has called as the second hander and in a tabular form she has presented a comparison of the qualities or the attributes of these two sets of people it's quite comprehensively done well done and then she is asking please help me understand how a person like me who was average in studies is average in profession pursue some hobbies or just for fun can apply those learnings she says i don't see myself creating anything my work is regular where i carry out tasks assigned to me i do it in the best possible way i can but hold no desire to excel over there and the same is the case with all the hobbies i have however there is a faint desire to excel at something which is sometimes felt in the form of uneasiness you will have to grope in the dark a little whatsala there are two ways to go about it both are effective both are applicable i'll narrate both of them to you she is asking how to find out something that she can really put her heart into hmm? she says she has in general been average or mediocre in her studies and career so far now how does she find something that she can really be heartfully devoted to hmm? and in this obviously the inspiration she is drawing is from the figure of howard rourke the first way is the way of comparison if you want to no what is it that you can do or what is it that you really must do then look at your condition and find out what is it that troubles you the most and that will tell you what is it that you are missing the most hmm? it is an indirect way it is a comparative way to know what you must do i am saying try to find out what is it that you just do not want to do to find out what you must do figure out what is it that you just do not want to do what is it that really suffocates you what is it that doesn't really allow you to live and that will give you a hint you will come to know the direction in which you should broadly move right this was the way of comparison the second way to find out what to do is the way of freedom freedom from what freedom from results returns why is it so that we keep doing stuff that we must not do and then we say oh we do it but we can't excel at it our heart is not in it so the results are not good why is it so that most people are engaged in stuff that just does not appeal to them if they are doing it there must be a reason what is the reason money results correct so because of their 
greed for results they take up work they get involved in a kind of life that they should have not hmm so the way of freedom says all your rubbish came to you all the wrong kind of work came to you because you were hungry for rewards because you were looking at results so now ask yourself what is it that you want to do if it is certain that you will not get anything out of it i call it the way of freedom because it is the way that comes to you when you are free from expectation of results you got into the traps of wrong kinds of work because you were tempted by results let me take up this work on the 30th day of the month the result will be good what will be the result a nice paycheck now ask yourself what if it is certain that no money no external gratification of any kind is going to come your way then what would you take up willingly without any expectations from the future that will tell you where your destiny lies are you getting it ask yourself if i were not to be paid for this would i still do this and if you hear a yes from within then you're doing the right thing you understood these two methods if you want to find out what is it that you can pursue rather what is it that you must pursue the first is the way of comparison how does that proceed if you do not know which way you want to go just see which way hurts you the most which way hurts you the most just see where your pain points lie and then move in a direction that takes you away from them hmm correct that is one way to get a pointer an approximate direction and the other way is the way of freedom free of all greed and temptations what would you want to do that's what you must do